Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Brian Talley. I'm here on behalf of Geraldine Talley and my nephew, Mark Talley. Um, Peyton Gendron. Peyton Gendron. The reason I mention your name is because so many people have spoke about it not to say anything, not to mention your name, but you need to be known. You need to be known worldwide. I've done a little history on you too, Peyton. Um, I watched a video, you know, and I just can't believe what can you say, what can you possibly say after putting on a video of killing people? It was like a video game to you. What can you possibly say to anybody? Your words don't mean anything. After this, I'm leaving because I don't want to hear what you have to say. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to give you a little history lesson. The Willie Lynch doctrine, the making of a slave, it said you take the biggest, the toughest, and the blackest nigger. You take him. You tie a horse to one arm. You tie a horse to the other arm. You tie a horse to one leg and tie a horse to the other leg. And then you rip him apart in front of every slave to let you know what it is. You did that to us. You came into the biggest part, the strongest part of the black community, and you ripped us apart. How can you possibly get any kind of, how can you possibly stand up here and say that you're sorry? That you're sorry, you're playing this whole thing. You planned it, you put it on a video, like it was a video game, and watched it. I watched my sister-in-law get shot by you. I watched it. I went in the tops a couple times, and every time I go in there, only thing plays out in my mind is where you walk, where you shot, what you did. You know, the hatred that you must have in your heart for black people, I will never understand. I don't want to understand it. But I must say this. I pray to God they do not kill you. Because I've been incarcerated. You know, I have. And I know where you're going, where you're going, solitary confinement for the rest of your life, by yourself, wearing this color green. That's why I wore green today. Because I want you to remember this color. You're going to be wearing this color for the rest of your life. I'm praying that you wear this for the rest of your life. I will say this. My nephew didn't come today because of the hate and the pain that he feel. And I don't blame him. I do not blame him because he's still hurting. This whole community is hurting, man. You know, you broke it, you, you divided this community so much that it's, it, it's painful. We'll never heal for this. Can you imagine, you wake up on a Sunday morning and you're going shopping, and you're going shopping on a graveyard? Because that's what Tops is now, it's a graveyard. Huh. It is a graveyard. Can you imagine going to buy your grocery at Forest Line, right in the middle of Forest Line right now? Well, that's what you did. And if you look at the community right now on Jefferson Avenue, after all the hype and everything, nothing has changed. As a matter of fact, it's got even worse. It's got even worse. Stores is closed down. The community is totally devastated. And you did this. I, I pray to God for your soul. I forgive you. But I forgive you not for your sake, but for mine and for this black community. I forgive you. Because that's the only way we're going to heal. But you can best believe, I will never forget your name. I will follow you, every, every your parole, whenever you, whatever you're going through, I'm going to follow you. Just like you followed us. Just like you sat down and you followed us. I will always remember your face. I will never, ever forget you. 